This plant is number 82 on your list, Edgeworthia paperifera. This is uh, simply called Edgeworthia, or uh, some people refer to it as paper bush. This is one of my favorites, uh, both for the flowers. Uh, the leaves are great during the, during the growing season. It also has really nice bark, and I love the, the shape of this plant. So this is unpruned. Uh, the first thing I'll say about this is it, it has what we call sympodial growth, and so at every branch it, bra it branches like an umbrella. So there are three, three branches at every node. So every time it, it branches, it branches three times. And what that does is it creates the, the shape of the shrub that you see, which is really uniform and really uh, nice and rounded. Um, the leaves, they are quite clean. Uh, there, there are really no um, pests or disease that I'm aware of uh, that, that we have big problems with here in Oregon. In fact, kind of funny, there's an azalea that's right next door, completely covered in powdery mildew, and Edgeworthia is, is actually coming into contact, no problems. It has these pendulous uh, flowers, and you can see they're, they're just in bud right now. They're going to actually flower uh, later this winter once the leaves are all the way off. So you have uh, flowers during winter when uh, not a ton else is, is going on. Um, what else to say about this? Um, uh, that's, that's about all I have other than uh, it is one of my favorites. Uh, great uh, two-tone flowers. So you have these uh, uh, yellow flowers um, uh, that are that, that really nice. The only thing that, that I, I would say could be improved about it is worthy of, is if the flowers were held upright instead of being uh, held down. So that does detract a little bit from its ornamental uh, uh, possibility. So that's Edgeworthia paperifera.